Get ready! You're tuned in to Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T, bringing you the hottest trending topics on social media. Stay connected. Instagram.com slash Lovely Tea 2002. Hey, you guys. Welcome to another episode of Tea Time Unfiltered with your girl, Lovely T. Hey, everybody. Happy Monday and good morning. So, yes, honey, it's time for another podcast. A lot of shit went down yesterday, if y'all don't know. Um, I deleted my Instagram page with over 237,000 followers. I've never been one to be controlled by numbers or to let a website continuously disrespect me. Anytime I speak truth to power, um, I get flagged, I get warnings. So I've deleted that page. I'm done. Um, I do have my backup page. I'll post on there periodically. But if folks want to find me, I'm going to be in my Discord That's where I'm going to be posting all my deep thoughts, you know, all the deep conversations, celebrity news, all that stuff. My Discord is going to be my new Instagram because I just don't have time for the foolishness. But we'll talk about that another time, okay? So I'm here to spill the tea and do a breakdown on the whole Shekinah Joe situation. Now, you know me and Shekinah have had our issues. Um, She threatened me with her lawyers because she claimed I was making video after video about her. And at that time, I had only made three videos on Shekinah in 10 years. And so um, I guess she forgot that I have other, you know, means of talking about her. So not only will this be on YouTube, the rest will be on my podcast because you can't touch my podcast. So I want to do a breakdown on everything that's going on between her and Tiny. It got real. So if you guys don't know, the other day, she kind of took to Bego. And Bego is like this website where celebrities and regular people, you come on there, you tell all your business, you spill your tea, and people pay you. So the more tea you spill, the more money and coins and, you know, stuff like that come your way. And so she was on Bego, and she broke down crying, basically explaining why her and Tiny are no longer friends. If you guys remember, I did a podcast about two weeks ago showing you guys that her and Tiny had unfollowed each other. And so now she's deciding to go into details and she breaks down crying. Basically, Shekinah has had enough and she's finding out that somebody that she considered a real friend was not really a friend. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys her long rant. It's about 20 minutes. So y'all go ahead and check this out. I can't see his light. You can't see what he done blessed me and what he done bought me to see because y'all don't y'all on the outside looking in. And the outside make it look like a motherfucker done took care of me, bought me the world, did this and that. But that's not true. It's not true, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to let it keep going on that way. Whoever hit this today, you need to hear. Let me tell you something, baby. I work for tips. I used to do half for tips, $25 tips. OMG girls, full sew-ins, color, all that shit for $120. Each girl, $120 tip they would give me. And I, got an, I, I still got the receipts from then. I work for the bare minimum, okay? I didn't start getting money until I got on sets where the, the networks to pay me, Okay? And first, when the network first started paying me, y'all, I got seven hundred. I got hundred and sixty dollars a day working for BET. Okay, but it's not BET. Five dollars the under table hairstylist. I hadn't had my license. See, you gotta understand when I met certain people. I had graduated out of college. I was still in school when I met them. I graduated from school, and as soon as I graduated from school, I was on the road. I was doing stuff. I was traveling, doing hair. You understand? I'm just trying to give you an understanding of what's going on. But when I first worked for BET, I never forget. I got my first paycheck somewhere. I would get $150 a day to work on set. $150. I don't think y'all understand. $150. Because I didn't have my license and they knew that. You know what I'm saying? They knew that. I could have got more money, but nobody never fought for me to get no more money. They fought for me to get what I got. Okay. I got that little money and they were cool. I ain't tripping. I took that money. I was happy fuck for it too. I ain't lying. I was working at BET. Fuck with y'all talking about. And I was goddamn on the set. And I worked for BET. So I was happy. That was a blessing. Not that I'm I'm on no group of shit. But it's like, damn, I'm at BET. I'm working on set at BET. That was a big deal for me. But all I got was $130, something like that. No more than $150 a day. Okay? I just need you to understand. Follow me. Don't stop following me. Follow me. Come on. Then I went and got my license. Keisha, Keisha Mackey, Keisha, good friend of mine, her daughter named Kelsey, I love Keisha, 
Keisha knew I was so busy that Keisha took out the time to pay, go down there and pay for my state board test. So I can go take my goddamn test because she was tired of me crying about the limited money I was getting paid. You understand? I went down there to the state board. I took the test. Hey, man, God is good. I passed that test. I came back up the road a week later. My goddamn certification was in the motherfucking mail. And guess what? Now these, these companies, these networks, they can't play with me. Giving me no 150 no more. Mm-mm. God is good. My whole life done changed because I got my paperwork, okay? No, I'm not. And I don't want to be friends anymore. And I don't want to be friends anymore. I wish her the best, though. I love her, okay? <laughs> so, um, like I was saying, it was just a blessing for me to see the growth, you know? And as I was working for her, I was also working for um, Future as well. I work for both of them. Thank you, Lord, for the people that, I, that you put in my life to be able to work with. And, um... Yeah, he was paying me more upset than I was getting paid over there, believe it or not. Yeah. Future man always made sure I ate. He always made sure he paid me what my worth was. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he never underestimated me. He never underestimated me. He never, ever. Uh, and when I tell him, this how much I want for doing your hair, he would give it to me. Now, in the beginning, when in the beginning, we first started out. I wasn't charging him like that either because he was starting out of his career. Like, I'm actually happy for his career because I watched his career. I watched his career. I watched him. And, 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 and it ain't nothing better than watching somebody glow up. I watched Tina go up again. Because when I met her, she was a housewife, unfortunately. I don't know if y'all remember that. But she was a housewife when I met her. She wasn't working or doing anything. She was a housewife. And that's my word to my mama, okay? Anyhow, as time go on, everybody started blowing up, doing their damn thing. But yet me, I'm still getting a little bit ass money. I don't even remember y'all. I remember when I went on TV, it was so, like, what? I would tell y'all how much I got paid an episode, and y'all would start crying. Some of y'all started crying, and then, like, I even got kicked off TV because motherfuckers were saying I made they show. You run around telling motherfuckers you made my show? I ain't never told nobody I made this shit. How the fuck I'm going to make your show, and you, you, and you, you? I would never run around and say I made the show. How could I say that? How could little ghetto me feel like I made the show? She might have was with Escape, but escaping her, they had them took a little vacation, baby. You don't even know the, the the truth behind escape. I call all them escape members and got them girls back together. Me. Call them and ask them. I call each one of them girls from escape and ask them, y'all, what the hell y'all doing? Y'all need to come on back. Me. Every last one of them, I called them and told them, y'all need to get back together. So don't tell me nothing about here. Yeah, she was escaping. That's what I let her know. Girl, you sitting up here being a housewife. You know you used to be on the stage with Michael Jackson. You better get your ass up and let's go. God done gave you a voice. You better make it do what it do. So you don't got to tell me shit. I know what time it is, but I want y'all to know that I worked for everything I had, and I used to work for tips. I got to show you what God came in to shine. This ain't even about her. This ain't about him. This about me. I trusted God for what I wanted, and he gave it to me. Even with me getting pennies on a dollar, he gave it to me. Motherfuckers couldn't understand how I was making money and making shit happen for me. When my money on my TV show, with the t what Viacom paid me, what Viacom 51 Minds paid me. Because that's who paid me. I don't give a damn. They can switch up whatever they want to switch up. Baby, I know what I said. I tell her to her face, them to their face, and whoever the fuck else want to know to their face. I ain't fake. Like I said, Viacom paid me. Uh, 51 Minds paid me. Okay? That's where I got money from, them. That's who paid. Now, if it went for her giving me a job to do her hair, I wouldn't have been able to get paid for them. But God, me, but they paid me. I just want y'all to stop dwelling in flesh so much. Flesh do not do all what y'all think they do. Start putting your trust in God. That was my whole reason of telling y'all this. I can't be sitting there letting somebody else take um, recognition for what God did for me. My first check out, my check, my big check I got, I broke ground on my house. Showed it. Mm-hmm. My money I got, I broke ground on my house. Do you understand me? My money on my, when I got my TV money, I went and bust down on me a house. Motherfuckers couldn't believe I bust down on the house. And shortly after that, I got through off the show. I said, damn, Black Lives Matter. Mm. Black Lives Matter. Well, I'm a black life and I ain't did shit, but shit. <laughs> black life matter. But 
Here we go again. When folks kicked me out that show and thought that I was going to fall, and it was going to be over for me. That ain't what happened. God picked me up again. <laughs> God gave me another job. <laughs> God gave me another job. <laughs> Who? Oh. Mm. 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 He kept sitting them. Somebody thought that they were going to be in control of my life, how I acted, and how I move, and how I... Mm. No. And when I got kicked out TV, y'all talking about this shit that just happened. I just really being a nice person when that shit just happened. But when I got kicked out TV, my whole soul hit the ground. Because I couldn't understand what I did to get kicked out of a show. And I ain't did number kiss the ass and been nice on. Kick me out that motherfucker. Motherfuckers say I ain't know how to act with money. Shit hurt my heart. So damn. So that situation that I just got into the other day, I just told you because they said I was running around telling people I made their show. So I got kicked out the show because of it. And I never told nobody that I was always home, but I, I never could feel like I made nobody motherfucking show. How the fuck am I make a show and I got these big old headliners on the show? I couldn't make their goddamn show. But a motherfucker came back and told me that what I did could see. If you ever notice, if y'all think back, go way back. Let's get a little deeper with this shit. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all how strong I've been. Have you ever had a friend that takes all your... I used to have a crew of girls I used to be with. All y'all got to do is think about them. It was girls I grew up with, girls I've been knowing all my goddamn life. It was a crew of them. We were all together. Even one of them used to work for me. Even one of them used to work for me. Do you know all them hoes turned their back on me? Do you know I got kicked out? First, let me tell you how deep this shit went. Why y'all don't know me. Y'all think y'all know my journey, but I got to let you know how good God is. So look, y'all, I turned around and I got kicked off TV, right? Kicked off TV. <laughs> Didn't understand. Then I end up fucking with an abusive relationship. <clears throat> then I watched every friend I had turn on me for tiny. All my homegirls I used to be with, they, they were her best friends now. I said, God damn, what the fuck going on? And I had to be quiet. And I had to move around like that shit didn't bother me. But God. But God. But God. Then nobody started fucking back with me, really, till I got on Love and Hip Hop. You better pay attention. Y'all didn't see me. Y'all still didn't see me with that girl. Y'all used to always ask me about her, but, but God. Now, I can't talk about nobody's sexual life because I don't got shit to do with it. I can just talk about my fucking experience. You know what I'm saying? And I've had one. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I've been humble. I say, yeah, they trashing my name, and that's why I didn't understand. I'm going to say this. I didn't appreciate this. This is my last straw for her. When I made that comment about her, I was in. She was in a room with me. The motherfucker was sitting right there with me. She the one telling me what to say. And then when all y'all in America go crazy on me, my own supposed to be friends sit there and let y'all take me down, knowing I ain't got shit to do with none of that shit she got going on. She let y'all. She let the world tear me up. That when I said, you know what? I done did you half for free. I done kissed your motherfucking ass. I done been there for you. You done took all my old friends. Now, they your best friends because y'all pay attention. I got to do it. pay attention. All y'all got to do it. pay attention. All you got to do it. pay attention to what? How the devil tried to fucking destroy Shekana. Playing in my face with some bitches that went never my motherfucking friend. I still was cool. Still didn't go crazy. Y'all still ain't never seen me go to Wendy Williams and tell a story. Y'all still ain't never heard of me on no radio station telling the story, but this shit right here, this shit will hit a little different, see? This shit right here hit a little different. Then when it, this woke me up to let me know, this girl don't fuck with you. You sitting here telling me what to say about this goddamn lady. I don't know nothing about, nothing about nobody. And then you sit there, and when the world take me down, you let me go out with these motherfuckers. You don't even say, hey, man, it went Shekana. Shekana ain't had shit to do with that shit. I just... But get what? The reason I took up for them folk like that, because when they hoe bought my name, I wish somebody would have took up for me like that. When somebody bought my name, I wanted somebody to return a favor so you do unto people as you want to be treated. But it's my motherfucking fault because I already knew better. Hell yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. I could. Man, that shit just went it. And she's a sweet person. She is such a blessed person. She's so sweet. She is such a sweet person. She is. Don't judge her. Do not judge. Hell yeah, I'm telling no judge. But she the one. I don't know nothing about that girl life. 
I was always at work. I went to work every day. I couldn't go hang in the club with them all night when they want to go out and kick shit because I'd be at work doing clients. How the fuck can I do all this shit and I'm getting paid the bare minimum from her ass to do her hair? A fucking tip. I had to do hair. People always talking that shit. Oh, you still do hair? You still do hair? You can throw it away. You still do hair? Hell yeah, I still do hair. I ain't had no motherfucking choice. How the fuck you think I was going to win doing her hair and her hair eat only? Y'all crazy fuck. I would have never won. I would have been the bottom of the barrel type bitch. Period. But guess what? It was never It was never her. It was never on her to take care of me. I never wanted her to take care of me. Understand that. I, I was her friend and I loved her. I never wanted her to take care of me. I never leached off her. I never ever leached off her. I never... Anytime I borrowed some money from her, I gave it back. I never leached off her. I'm not the one nobody can say a motherfucker took care of me. And I actually started getting tired of that shit. Because I'm like, girl, why the hell you keep running around letting people think that you bought me a house or any of this shit that you probably did when you ain't did none of this shit for me? I work every goddamn day. I t I'm tired. I was tired of that shit. What God did for me? Hell yeah, what God did for me, he'll stand up with. It was what God did for me. Not what man did for me. Them folks ain't did shit for me. I'm a, I'm I'm a let it go. Hey, yeah, I just want to let y'all know, <laughs> God is real. He'll hear you. He'll help you. You know how the hell you think it feel when all your friends link up with your enemy? Your enemy link up with I, I, one of your enemies turn all your goddamn friends into your enemy, and you gotta watch this shit. You sit back and you watch all these hoes you hooked up together. You watch them ball in your face. You watch these grown ass hoes get on the internet. Get what they started. They had this thing, wrong or right crew. I know y'all seen that shit. All them folk, wrong or right crew. Wrong or right crew. I'm like, damn. They basically said, I ride with you whether you shit on that whole Shikana or not. Wrong or right. I watched this shit. I watched my friend from second grade turn her fucking back on me for fame. What? I couldn't believe that shit. That shit hurt my heart. That shit hurt my heart. So when people don't understand, like, why I don't be so close to people? Why I'm not so... Won't well, folks up under me. Uh-uh. I don't trust it. Hurt my fucking heart. Bitch broke me the fuck now. Bitch, how you gonna do that to me? Second grade, ho. Brain tears back sometimes, but I had to bury them motherfuckers. I had to let them folk go with them folk, man. For real. But I always wanted to keep that shit cool. Well, wouldn't nobody know this shit really affecting me. So I'm saying? God helped me through it. Then I started realizing, man, I don't blend with these people. Me and these people not the same. We don't got the same heart. I'm not a fucking user. I'm not a fucking manipulator. I'm a lover. I'm a lover. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. So, you know what I'm saying? Me taking myself, speaking up for somebody because I wish they would have spoke up for me and God turned around and whooped my ass and said, how many more times I got to show you that this girl don't fuck with you. How many more times I got to show you? So he showed me for the last time. And I ain't got to worry about it no more. Because he showed me. It already done passed. That's why I can talk about it to y'all. Because it done passed. Shit, I'm not studying that shit. I'm good. I'm on on. I'm on on. I been on on. So y'all always asking me questions about this girl. I should be like, okay, cool. Th all right. But it ain't that. How they have somebody else for and They tell you they kicked you out of your... I got kicked out of a show because I thought I made it. And then like... I didn't know how to act with money. That ain't no shit your friend tell you. That ain't no shit your friend tell you. Cause whatever I got going on, especially if my money ain't if my money not coming out your pocket, it should not matter what the fuck I'm making. How the fuck I'm a grown woman and another grown woman telling somebody else how much I need to be paid? Come on, man. Come on, man. That ain't it. No, you can't. You can't count my motherfucking pocket. You can't count my pocket. But then nobody owe me shit, though. I just wanted y'all to still know, like, friends for so long. Friends, how? That girl husband ain't never really liked me. You got to stop being stupid. We were friends, but it was friends from a distance. I, I, I was willing to stay away from her to make her her husband be able to be happy. That husband ain't never gave a fuck about me. He never cared for me. He probably be, he tried to be nice to me in the end, but he ain't never gave a fuck about me. He gave me them damn diamond earrings for Christmas. I like the shit of the brick. I said, what the fuck? He didn't like me. He made many songs about me. The man didn't like me. The man used to fucking drag me. Fuck you talking about. 
And I ain't do nothing to that man. I ain't never try to hook his wife up with nobody. I always told her to stay married and stay down. And I ain't got no problem. Nothing to fuck. I'm just letting y'all know. Like, at the end of the day, baby, <laughs> stop playing with me. Yeah, he called me a muzzle rat. He got a son. You get on muzzle rat. Stay on that porch. You get on muzzle rat. I couldn't believe that shit. But that's in the past. I forgive him for that. I forgive her. Shit. And... Yeah, I don't know why he don't like me. Because maybe when he went to jail, his wife was a housewife. And when he came out of jail, she was a new person. Like, when he went to jail, she was a housewife. When he came out of jail... And they can record me. I don't give a fuck. I ain't lying. Like I said, when he went to jail, she was a housewife. When he came out of jail, that motherfucker was a goddamn... She was working. But like I said, people your friend, they your friend. They ain't gonna let you fall. Y'all know I was on a whole other TV show. And motherfucker let you fall with what they got going on. This shit ain't right. Especially when they know you don't got nothing to do with it. You need to look at the ceiling. None of them need to see my face. No, he not controlling. He love his wife. He loves his wife. I do believe he loves his wife. I ain't gonna say he don't love her. I think he loves his wife. And I think his wife loves him. And I wish them the best. They just... They just need to be with each other and everybody and all their friends stuff need to be over there. I fuck with Lloyd's over everything. And when I could watch my post be friend go behind my back and be cool with my, a bitch I know can't stand me, fuck all that. Okay. And the good thing is I don't fuck with nobody, so ain't nobody got no tea on me. It's just the motherfucking truth. Okay. I ain't gotta learn nothing. It ain't no motherfucking listen. Because that, that lawsuit, is that shit ain't got no merit to it. Let me go live with you, because, baby, you got something to say. So let's talk about it. Memphis 901. Let's get into it. I'm adding you, baby. You had something to say, because you want to elaborate. Let's do it. I j I'm trying to let these folks, these, the youth know ain't nobody took care of me. Bitch. I'm letting the youth know ain't nobody took care of me. I'm letting the youth know and the people know they wouldn't walk in my motherfucking shoes because they wouldn't run around and do the shit I did. That's what I'm letting the youth know. I'm telling this to all you. The youth need to hear this shit. The youth need to know they got a motherfucking work. The youth need to know ain't no ain't nothing motherfucking free. Why you coming here telling me I'm being sued and God got me? This bad ain't mine. It's the Lord's. I know you didn't pick up. I need to let the kids know this ain't how that shit went. Ain't nobody taking care of no grown ass people. And it ain't her job to take care of me. But I'm letting y'all know how that shit went. Didn't nobody take care of me. Ain't nobody bought me no house. The fuck wrong with y'all? That's what I'm letting you know. Ain't nobody bought me no car. I ain't crunk up. I'm letting this broad know what I'm talking about. I'm sick of this shit. Everybody thinking they can just be on the internet and make money. That's all it takes. That ain't all it motherfucking takes. You got to get out here and get it. You can't be sitting back waiting on somebody to take care of you. You sound stupid as fuck. And I don't want that narrative out here no more. That's why I say half of y'all wouldn't do nothing I did to get what I got. You wouldn't. You wouldn't do half for free. You wouldn't do half of tips. You wouldn't work on a fucking set all day for $125. One, no more than 150 You wouldn't do it. You wouldn't kiss ass. You wouldn't put shoes on folks' feet. You wouldn't make sure they look good when they on their sets. And I do that shit for people right to this day. And I won't even tell you their name because you don't desire to know it. Yeah, the world mad at me because guess what? The world can stop talking about them and talk about me. Why not? So anyhow, um, once that went viral, of course, people were confronting Tiny. You know, people weren't feeling Tiny's demeanor and how, you know, they treated Shekinah. So it got posted on the Neighborhood Talk. So after the Neighborhood Talk posted it, Tiny came on there and this is what she said. She said, y'all can believe that ditzy bitch if you like. Why in the fuck would I ask her to say what she said? 
True enough, she wanted to speak for me as a friend, and I appreciate that. But I never told her to say any of the shit that she said. That's on my life and everything I love. She wrote me a book and said people don't need to know, but yet going to go live talking about me daily. Worst kind of friend to have. If we not cool, we not cool. Move on. Move on as I have quietly. It's a shame that I'm addressing this BS now. Just sick of all the lies day after day. I will forever wish her nothing but the best still. It's sad when close friends turn into enemies, but God has his way and I won't question him. And then she was in the comment agreeing with people who were kind of distant Shekinah and, you know, she's writing exclamation points. So the whole situation is crazy. So, of course, after that, after Tiny went off, Shekinah jumped back on live and basically went in. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Yo, what's up? Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.